Hold up, Cancer. Welcome to your What's Ahead for 2021 love reading. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot and Cancer. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Lilith signs. And um, as you can see, I have everything spread out here for you. But before I get into the, the tarot message, I wanted to tell you that I shuffled at least a hundred times and pulled you one question to ask yourself from the Soul Truth Self-Awareness card. And uh, this card came flying out for you, Cancer. All right? This card is a question that you need to ask yourself going into 2021. And it is, who am I ready to forgive? Who am I ready to forgive? Now, Cancer, I'm going to read the back of this for you. It says, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. All right, Cancer, go ahead with your bad self. Now, here's what it says. It is time to let go, forgive, and move onward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Okay? So, resisting to forgive someone or resisting to forgive yourself is holding you back from what your soul wants. So, you're going to have to ask yourself, in 2021, who is it that you plan on forgiving? You want to forgive this person or you're going to forgive uh, yourself or both will be good because I also went ahead and pulled from the dark mirror for you now cancer two cards came out here when I shuffled about a hundred times for you and these cards are something else one is revenge all right so either you or the person who you're dealing with is going to be seeking revenge that's why you're going to have to forgive because the next card is a colorless angel colorless angel so this person is going to have lost all their hope all of their love well not all of their love but all of their hope for love okay they're going to lose all the color in their daggone body and their cheeks it's like colorless angel they're going to lose a lot i mean look at this person this person look like Man, they just look so sad, man. It looks so sad. And they want revenge on the person who has made them feel this way. Cancer, let's see what the heck is going on. Let's get into your reading, baby. Before we do, I wanted you to know that I'm utilizing the Light Seers as well as the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic. All right, Cancer, let's do this. The first column, you have the... Uh, Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of, uh, no, the Knight of um, Pentacles here, as well as the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, that's what you have. Now, this tells me that somebody from your past, Cancer, was moving like they had molasses up their ass. They were moving like they didn't know what... They were moving like they weren't going no damn where, okay? Like they had molasses right up their daggone ass with the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Like they didn't know how to daggone move. Move it at a daggone snail pace. This person was like that because they was trying to build up their pentacle. They wanted the other person to have everything in the world. Stability with the eight of pentacles. They wanted this person to be able to sit at the table and enjoy the things that they bought them. The, the food, the candles, the pentacle, the books. Let's see what else they have on this. The wine, everything. They just have everything at this daggone table. This person wanted the other person to have every single daggone thing. So now, now that they have their pentacle cancer, yeah, baby. Now that they have got their daggone pentacle, this person is going to be running. 
like <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez, okay? This mother is gone like the road runner. Gonna be on that daggone ground hitting speed at 110, okay? They are gonna be coming at you pretty fast, all right? What they want, they want to go ahead and have flowers in their hand. They're going to have all kind of things for your presents and flowers when they park their car on the outside of your house. They're going to bring you a chalice that they wanted you to have for a long time. So this is somebody who you know that's going to be coming at you in 2021. Cancer flying like a bat out of goddamn hell, okay? They're just going to be coming like, you know... High speed, just high speed. Now, unfortunately, when they get to you, they're going to see that you, with the hermit card here, the lover's hair, the four of swords here, and the uh, ten of uh, pentacles. Yeah, they're going to see that you went ahead and uh, found another lover. Okay, you found somebody else and that's going to cause them to be all balled up into their feelings here. This is how they're going to become that colorless angel. Okay, they're going to also be sitting here. Their light is going to go out because they're going to be the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with a Cancer like yourself, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. They're going to be sitting here like this with all of the, the, the presents that they bought you. Looking at you, get your ass rubbed up and down your thighs, your back. Over there just having a good old damn time, okay? They're going to be very heartbroken to see this. They're going to just lose all hope as the hermit over here. They're going to lose all hope because they're going to realize that, damn it. Their ass waited too damn long to orally pleasure you with the four of pentacles. As you can see, this guy's trying to open up her mouth and uh, her hand is on his stuff. Yeah, they, they took too daggone long to orally pleasure you. They took too daggone long to show you that you are appreciated because they didn't have their daggone pentacle. So because they didn't have their money, this mug's acting like, uh, you know, they ain't trying to show you any kind of affection. Like, it takes that to satisfy you, Cancer. It don't take that to satisfy you. It takes some daggone body who's going to make a damn effort to satisfy you with the Ten of Pentacles. Just make the effort with your physical body who gives a damn what you have in your pocketbook. Okay? Because when they come and look at you in the mirror, in the, uh, in the uh, window, they're going to see you on the couch with food all over your body with this other person that had you on uh, the ground outside in the uh, in the back, <laughs> in y'all's private background where, not background, but backyard where they're going to be out there uh, rubbing all over your body. Cancer, or you're just going to be out there rubbing all over somebody else's body. You could be the masculine here and found yourself a feminine and you're just up there rubbing and licking and eating all over their body, okay? That's what they're going to find when they look in the window because they're just there. They're going to be just there, uh, Cancer. Now, the third column, we have the, the queen of wands. We have the two of pentacles and the king of swords. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They're going to be looking in the mirror. Why do I keep saying the mirror? They're going to be looking in the damn window. Window. They're going to be looking in the window at you rubbing somebody else's breast with your feet, with them hands on your thighs, opening up your legs, okay? And they're going to feel really jealous about this. This Man, it's going to hurt the living mess out of this person, man. Because they also going to see you. Because they're just going to be watching you for a while, uh, Cancer. They're going to be stalking your ass when they get to your daggone place of residence. Now, they're going to also be watching you one night in there dancing for this man. Okay? Strip teasing him, everything. Let me go ahead and, and this person going to be just showing their complete and utter ass to the other person. And the other person is going to be sitting there throwing dollars at them. Like, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Now, Cancer... 
The two of pentacles here is saying that, hold up, man, don't even think about getting any kind of daggum revenge because once this person is alone, you plan on sneak or they plan on sneaking up behind your ass. Now, I say this is a you, Cancer, because that's something that a Cancer would do. A Cancer would come to from where you can't see them and just sneak up on your ass. You don't even know that they're watching you, all right? That's how a Cancer, but you may be dealing uh, with another damn Cancer, okay? Or a Scorpio or a Pisces. Even though this is a pentacle card, they're going to sneak up behind your ass. And they're going to be like, uh... It's not going to be anything nice. <laughs> it's not going to be anything nice because they're a colorless angel right now. Only thing they have in their heart and in their mind is revenge. Cancer. The second, the third, no, the fourth column. We have the uh, three of swords and the knave of wands. Yeah, you know, they like, you see the person in the back here. The person in the back here is being very heartbroken by seeing you now in the damn bedroom with your clothes off and this other person that is dealing with you just can't get enough of making love to you. Y'all listening to music or he's playing even a musical instrument. You may be, they may be seeing somebody with you who has a musical instrument playing this musical instrument and you just laying there on a bed, uh, like you're just so in love with what it is that they're playing, all right? And it's like uh, this person is wanting to open up your damn legs and look all in between your legs and go all in between them, okay? While this other person who was moving like they had molasses up their ass uh, is now standing there. Cancer, they just going to be there for days, man. For days, for probably weeks, for months. Because now, they're going to see y'all outside, up against the daggone tree, just, uh, you know, humping and grinding, okay? It's like, they're going to be watching you do every damn thing. <laughs> and so, eventually, eventually, you're probably going to catch on to somebody watching your cancer. And you're going to feel with the Nine of Pentacles that your uh, safety is in jeopardy, okay? Because this person may creep up in your house. I mean, look like they're in your house right here already, cancer. Or you may be out and about some daggone work. But it look like she's in the house. She got the food on the table, okay? This person is, 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 beware, damn it, beware this person. Because once you sleep, once you fall out sleeping, your person may go into the bathroom and take a shower. This month is going to come into the daggone bedroom, cut your hair, and, uh, you know, start to perform some type of uh, ritual against your ass. Whoo! They're going to do this, Cancer, because they cannot. With the two of swords, they cannot see you with somebody else. Oh, they just can't see it. They cannot see it. They've been watching it long enough, and they just can't look at it. No damn more. They just can't do it. This daggone competition is going to have to go. The competition is going to have to get the hell on. Because you're like, listen. Or they're like, listen. This, this daggone thing has to come to an end. All right? One person is reaching up for the fire, and that's you up at the top reaching up for the fire, about to pour it down on this other person. Or that that is that other person doing that to you, because you may find out that this person, like I said, is is uh, lingering around too daggone much around your woman or around your man, and that their competition, and that you uh want this person out of the daggone picture, okay? Now... This person is going to be sending you some type of message after they do the ritual on you, Cancer. After they go ahead and cut your hair and get other personal items that they can use in their spell against you, they're going to be sending you a uh, a message, a very passionate one. You could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. This person knows that they made you wait too daggone long with the uh, Two of Wands. That there was a time that you were just sitting there looking out the window waiting for them to come. But it's like, you know, they just did not show up. They were just gone into their own little world, Cancer. 
All right, they was just doing whatever the heck they wanted to do wherever the hell they were, okay? And they just made you wait too long. And as the queen of uh, cups here just knew that hell, I'm just going to throw my hands up and just say to hell with it. Cancer is not coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find me a lover. Or they're saying that with the moon energy that cancer is just too... Uh, withdrawn into themselves, all right? I don't know how I keep switching it up like that, but it could be switched up like that. It could be this person is somebody who you're coming towards, Cancer. All right, I keep saying that somebody's coming towards you, but the, the reading keeps coming back to you coming towards somebody else, man. And you're doing it in the dark, man, in the cut with the moon energy as a daggone secret. Now, because you see this person with somebody else, uh, you become an enemy to that person, but they don't even know that you're an enemy to them. <laughs> Here's the Four of Swords. So this person... Is going to withdraw from you, Cancer. They're going to withdraw from you or they already had withdraw from you and their relationship ended with the daggone death here. Or they're going to want the relationship to uh, come back to life, rebirth. And they're going to be doing all types of rituals to get uh, you to come back to them. Because here we got the, the Six of Swords and the Chariot right here. Like I said... You could be dealing with another daggone cancer like yourself, okay? So, with the six of uh, swords, it could also be a, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But you're going to leave for a while, or they're going to leave for a while to do this ritual. And then once they finish the ritual, come speeding back towards your ass to see if it has taken root. And if this other person in your life is gone now, okay? Now, that, that's what's going to happen. And my nose is itching like crazy. Anyway, Cancer, that's what you can expect in 2021. Somebody coming towards you who is basically going to be doing all kinds of uh, spell work on you because they want to seek revenge against you for you having somebody else in your life, okay? Hmm. Man. I don't know. I think it's allergies or something. Something got in my nose. Anyway, here's the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracles. And let's see what's going to be the outcome of this whole daggone thing. Mm. I need to close my window. Because I think something just came through the window and went right up my damn nose, Cancer. Anyway, when I get done with this reading, I'm closing that window. I don't know what I got it open for any oh, because I let the sage. When you light sage, you have to open the window to let the spirits out. The window been open for your reading and uh another reading that I did before you was Gemini. Anyway, what is the other mask? Okay. I couldn't even get it out. Success. Success, Cancer. So in your future you can expect success. You can expect that this person is going to uh, be successful uh, with what it is that they've done. Oh, hell, Cancer. Oh, hell, Cancer. What the hell, man? What is this? Focus. <sighs> so, it, it could be saying that whatever it is that you're trying to achieve for 2020 or 2021, that, you have, that your success determines... Your focus determines your success. Sorry, Cancer. Like I said, I got something that flew up my daggone nose, man. I don't know what it is, but all right. This person is going to be successful because they're going to be focused on getting you back into their life, Cancer. They're going to be focused on that, and uh, they're probably more than likely going to succeed. Now, let's go ahead and get you some love oracles. Love Oracle cards. I know you're like, how many daggone decks you going to use, Cosmic? <laughs> Dang. That's like about five, six decks you used already. And so what, baby? This is for your 2021, damn it. Now, let me see. What other uh, messages do we have? Okay, the Phoenix. And not today. So, 
someone wants to rise like the phoenix they want to rekindle like yeah they want to rekindle renew and transform your relationship and hope that you'll change your mind cancer but i suppose once you've realized what this person has done if you're somebody who uh seen this reading and you know that there's somebody that's going to be coming back into your life that is going to be resonating with you in 2021 then you know it's like uh you're not going to be dealing with that person you're going to be hurt by this person all right but you can expect a call from them but you're going to be angry. You're going to be angry, Cancer. All right? Or this person is going to be angry because they want the relationship to be rekindled. But you may be upset because you went in separation with somebody who you had in your life who was just loving all over your body. And you were loving all over them. And they were somebody who made you happy. Now you're sad and you're missing them and you're thinking about them and you're yearning for them and unsure of the future with this person because this other person from your past who had molasses up their ass and now running like, you know, they have uh, ants in the pants, okay, is uh, doing all types of spell work now. Cancer? What other message do we have for Cancer? Karmic relationship. So either the person who you were in the, the bed with when this other person came back or the person who came back is a karmic relationship. It says, uh, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Okay, Cancer. Now, one more card. Or oh, is that two? Okay, no, two more cards. Now I got Cupid's arrow and seduction. Okay, this person, yeah, this karmic relationship uh, could be, wait a minute, let me read it. It says, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, your third party interference is going to be calling and flirting and dating and trying to hook up with you. Because they was hit by Cupid's arrow. And that's another reason why they're running like they got ants in the damn pants. And they're not moving like they have molasses up their ass and their dad going more. Okay? That's what's going on with this person. They also been hit by Cupid's arrow. So they build up their pentacle. They hit with Cupid's arrow. And they're coming straight for your ass. But when they seen you with somebody else, they slowed their road. Like, oh, shit. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Hesitation. Okay, Cancer. Now, if you are somebody who, who uh, this uh, resonated with, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, Cancer. Now, if it didn't resonate with you, then don't even worry about that, baby. Because I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time I do your readings. I plan on doing many, 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 many more readings for you, Cancer. So, if this one didn't resonate with you, then come on head back in 2021 or keep hitting up my page in 2021 to get more readings. Okay. All right, Cancer. Peace, love, and light. Hotel, baby.